Did you really think I was done? Did you really think I would end this series before making the whole world British? Westphalia! If I remember correctly, we have some unfinished business. Now, as much as I would love to just destroy Westphalia right now, I can't. Because I do not have any available armies of sufficient strength in the area. I've got this one, but let's be honest, that's not going to work. So we'll just have to come back to them. And that actually brings me to this episode's goals that I have set. I have three main ones, the first one of which is to, well, finish off Westphalia for being annoying last episode while I was at war with Spain. The second one is to secure the Italian states and prevent them from ever becoming a rival. And the third one is to build a little army in the Caribbean and drive out the pirates. Because no good Brit likes pirates, eh? So right now we're going to ignore Westphalia and focus on Italy. Now I must say, the 13 colonies aren't doing too great. Something tells me I should probably send troops over there and help them, but I can't really be bothered, so I'm not going to. Uh, right, so Hanover has just killed Westphalia. That's good because now I don't need to worry about Westphalia, but that's bad because that means Westphalia isn't British. Well, loud boy, do not start a war unless you are absolutely certain you will win. Well, Italy, consider this revenge for your actions in 43 Anno Domini. Um, who the devil is Dagestan? Sorry, chaps, we can't go to war with Italy. They'll be joined by Dagestan, it's over. Well, Italians, unless you've got Mario behind those walls, you're a tad bit buggered, I'm afraid. Well, gentlemen, if you've seen the last two episodes, you know the drill. You know, sometimes I wonder if my enemy's walls are actually walls or just doors. When your enemies start vertically walking up and into your castle, I think it's time to call it a day. They are kind of dressed like Mario, aren't they, with the red and blue? <laughs> Alright, my lads up on the wall are very outnumbered, but they're British, so it should be fine. Do remember, other than the Euro Cup three years ago, I have nothing against the Italians. This is purely for entertainment, they just didn't give me their country, and therefore must be shot. <laughs> Oh, nice square there, Italians. Really put a dent in my plans there. Much like I put a bit of a dent in your walls. I'm not quite sure why the Italians have just walked up to my chaps here. They turned around straight away, bloody hell. Right, well, we've got a few Italians that are just tired of living, and they've decided to play an early Battle of the Somme and just walk straight into the open towards the enemy. As for the inside of the castle, we've got the Italians surrounded and are dealing with the situation. Oh, it looks like they're settling it like gentlemen here, chaps. Let's see who wins. And they're done. Wow, I'm sure both parties are satisfied there. Well, I know for a fact that I am, because Rome is now mine. Well, we've got a good standing in Italy now, and with the Italian states captured, our next target will be Venetia. If that's how you pronounce it, of course. Or maybe it's Bavaria. These bastards have had the audacity to declare war on me. They are not leaving this war, Bavarian. Right, now that's a problem. They're attacking Württemberg, and I do not have a garrison in Württemberg, so I have to rely on the populace. Oh dear. And it seems that we still haven't managed to repair the walls from episode 1. I'd say we're a tad bit buggered. Well, I must admit, standing on the wall and watching the hordes of enemies appear, I'm not used to being on the receiving end. And I don't really like it, despite doing it to countless other nations. Right, my strategy here, our worst units, such as the final Khan citizenry, are going to stay on the walls, and hopefully they are going to be able to pick off at least some enemies from the walls. And our best units are going to be inside of the fort, ready to defend it for when the Bavarians enter. Well, I'm seeing two Bavarian units over there flashing white already. I think because they haven't brought cannons, they are taking much more casualties than usual, but I just need to defend the hose in the walls. Right, they're starting to enter the fort. I'm going to use my militia as cannon fodder and allow my line infantry to hopefully try and convince them to leave. Yeah, so that whole idea of inflict heavy casualties before they get into the fort so then when they are in the fort they can easily be driven out. Kind of out the window now. It's not looking good. Yeah, okay, organization and tactics have just completely left the room. We're just gonna try and stab them now. Well, I mean, at least there's one battle back here that we're winning. It's behind the fort, but it's 
good for morale, I suppose, I don't know. I've pulled back one unit of line infantry. They are going to stay by the fort centre and defend it, because if we lose that, we lose the siege, and we lose Wuttenberg, God forbid. But I've pulled these guys back to also try and hopefully get some shots on these Bavarians while they're busy trying to stab the other unit of line infantry. Okay, do you know what? It's actually working. One of the Bavarian units are routing. This could work. Right, now that is most unfortunate. However, we mustn't allow that to prevent our path to victory. I do not know how. However, my strategy of placing that line infantry unit by the fort centre has successfully driven out all of the Bavarians from the fort. Victory is within reach. They are legitimately all routing. They are physically leaving the battlefield. Now it's just a case of cleaning up the remnants of the Bavarian forces. And off they go. Bloody hell. Who thought my infantry would be the ones charging their cavalry? Well, would you look at that? They do have cannons. Well, in that case, they probably should have used them better. Well, chaps, we have successfully killed their general with bayonets. Right, seeing as it's just their artillery left, I'm going to safely say we've won. By some miracle, we have won. After a costly and hard-fought battle, death and dishonor is the enemies today. And Bavaria, that's what you bloody get for declaring war on me. Outnumbered, outgunned, but not outclassed. Do you know what? I've been at war with the Barbary States for long enough. How rude of me to not even go and visit them. I will fix that mistake by doing it right now. I will just ever so quickly pop in and say hi in Tunis. Which I think is supposed to- well, I'm just assuming it's supposed to be Tunisia. Either way, I'm gonna do more than say hi as well. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. God, bloody hell, chaps. Quickly, get back in the ships. They've got camels. It's funny how I'm invading an African nation as the British, and they have more artillery than me. But do not worry, the gentlemen in red are dealing with it as we speak. Okay, I know I was joking about the camels earlier, but they have actually managed to make an entire unit of line infantry retreat. Now, I get there's a saying along the lines of never bring a sword to a gunfight, but what if the people with the guns are using the bayonets on their guns instead of the guns? I am not laughing at these camels anymore. They are literally destroying this unit of line infantry. I actually need to call reinforcements. Said reinforcements has arrived, and the camels are now being attacked on both sides. They will crumble within mere moments. Bloody hell, never mind. They have actually managed to get another one of my line infantry to retreat again. I think it's the same one they got to retreat before. Never laugh at the camels. The conquering of North Africa has begun. Now, with this army in Tunisia, I will use it to just conquer the rest of Africa, I suppose. Or at least, Barbary State owned Africa, anyway. Ah, yes. The pirates. These bastards have taken most of the Mediterranean from me, and I am going to take it back, starting with Cuba. Right, so it turns out I forgot to bring cannons. And it also turns out this fort has walls. I have never done a siege before on a fortress that has walls without cannons. Luckily, however, they have for some reason left their walls almost completely unmanned. So, um going to climb the walls. Now you see, it's quite different to Assassin's Creed Black Flag, isn't it? I'm not quite sure why they're just letting me shoot them. Maybe they're just severely unintelligent, but I will take it. Especially as it just results in me getting Cuba, with quite minimal effort, really. Quite predictably, the pirates were no match for the wrath of the British Empire. This begins our conquest for the Caribbean. Anyways, I completely forgot I was going to invade Venetia until the Bavarians invaded me, but we won't talk about them. Venice? Well, get the walls ready. Luckily, this time I actually have cannons, so this is going to be quite easy. This red line that you are seeing at the front of the enemy's fortress is a wall of death that many other nations have experienced. <laughs> Mate. These Italians just said, let's -a take it outside. Not a smart move at all, I'm afraid, Italians. And we've got some hand-to-hand -hand combat going on on the walls as well. Said hand-to-hand -hand combat has escalated a tad bit now. There's a lot more of them. Even more hand-to-hand -hand combat down here as we push into the castle. And some more hand-to-hand -hand combat as we attack their general. This, um battle has been very scrappy. I'll just let these gentlemen go at it and then see what the end result is in a few minutes. Well, there's your end result for you. That is another Italian state under our control. Well, it looks like I've just found myself a lone pirate ship. 
I assume you all know what this means. Yeah, that's right, here comes the mighty British Armada. I swear, whenever we tell them that we rule the waves, they never bloody listen. Okay, let's really make this like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Let's board them, why not? Come on, gentlemen, give them steel. Get it, because they're pirates and they steal stuff and oh, swords are made of steel. Okay. Well, either way, we're on the ship now and one of my lads just fell over. Can we can we get someone to look at him, please? Well, I mean, I think we're winning. I can't, I can't really tell. Well, it says that they've surrendered, so I'm going to assume we've won. Right, it looks like there is one more pirate ship, but we are dealing with the situation. Just ever so subtly dealing with it. What the devil about that battle was close? Do you know what? Venice has just asked for peace and i'm going to say yes because although i took venice i didn't realize that they own the whole of greece and i cannot be bothered to deal with that right now i reckon it's time to give a little visit to some bastards who decided it would be funny to declare war on me at the beginning of this episode bavaria did you really think there would be no consequence I am beyond the days of Savoy. This is what you get for attacking Wurttemberg, you bastards! Well, you know what they say, Bavaria? If you're gonna die, die with your boots on. And you know what, Bavaria? Because you've been so annoying this episode, I'm going to test out my new war crime machines on you, called Carcass Shots. Bloody hell, these Carcass Shots are literally killing them through walls. This is magnificent. If the average Bavarian soldier can stand there while I'm fire, I'm not sure how I'm winning. I'm not even sure I need to send the line infantry in. I reckon I can just let my howitzers do everything. Regardless, however, I will send them in anyways. Look at these confident men, ready to avenge their brothers who fell in Wuttenberg. But just because the line infantry are here doesn't mean I will not let up with the carcass shots. Remember, I am just showing the Bavarians how they should have attacked Wuttenberg. I'm helping them. We are this close to entering the castle. There's probably more bodies here than there are people that currently live on the Falkland Islands. Bloody hell, I think, okay, I'm pretty sure that those carcass shots just hit my lads. But it's fine. Ever heard of the creeping barrage? We've managed to break through the deadlock. We are now just charging into the fort. In Empire Total War Sieges, there's a point when you just know, yes, I've definitely won. I reckon we've just about reached that point. What did I say, Bavaria? You weren't leaving this war, Bavarian? Well, I guess I can say right now, I told you so. Bavaria? Never heard of them. Don't you mean... Britain? Chaps, Sweden's being Swedish again. Well, gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, I'm going to focus more on the pirates, and I'm going to try and completely drive them out of the Mediterranean. On top of that, I would also love to try and finish off Venice by taking Greece. Anyway, chaps, all of that next time. See you later.